I know there's a problem with being left-handed. There's a bias against left-handed people because of Wikipedia page called Bias Against Left-Handed People. There's just a list of things that left-handed people can't do as well. One of them's working a sawmill, which I don't know if you've ever had your dreams crushed like that, but <laughs> never be able to follow Pappy into the mill now. So I have to, I can't push logs in like that. I need to turn around and it gets kind of, eh. I don't know. I found out that uh, if your right hand itches, old wives' tale, you're about to receive money, but if your left hand itches, you're about to lose all your money. That's an old wives' tale. There's also a little thing that says you should respect your elders because they know more than you. I think the first thing I said really canceled out the second thing. So, <sighs> But uh, I'm left-handed, and everyone feels the need to talk to me about it. Like, every day, somebody will walk in and go, oh, you're left-handed, and I want to kill myself. That's Because uh, that conversation is going nowhere. I have nothing to add to that observation. I'd rather you walked up to me and went, Wow, you look like a tired baby. And then it's like, I would have something to say about that. It's like, yeah, I live terribly. Thank you for noticing. That's great. But it's like they always, people look like, it's always the same thing. It's an observation of, oh, you're left-handed, and then a tidbit that they read on, like, the bottom of, like, a Snapple. That's it. This is like, <laughs> it's like, oh, you're left-handed. You know, Albert Einstein was left-handed. That means you must be smart. I was like, O.J. Simpson was left-handed, too, so... <laughs> what does that mean? I'm really good at getting framed for murder? Boom. <laughs> Not a lot of laughs on that one. That's okay. <laughs> it's like, oh, you're left-handed. That must mean you're royalty. Obviously. That's a... We're having this conversation in a Burger King, so that must be it. Uh, thank God you found me in the last king of Prussia. Let's get to my kingdom now. But I think the weirdest one I think anyone ever said to me is like, oh, you're left-handed. You know, the devil was left-handed. <laughs> and then they just stared at me. <laughs> As if to say, your move. <laughs> Prove to me you're not the devil. I don't know where that fact will ever come in handy. If, like, the apocalypse happens and, like, the devil comes out of the ground. It's like, oh, shit, here comes the devil with his army of southpaws. Run! <laughs> no, that's not that. I don't know. Speaking of the devil, I'm... I, I'm going to say I'm 60% sure that I sold my soul to the devil, but I forgot. That's, uh, you ever been in traffic and you just go, I would sell my soul right now to get out of this traffic? I feel like it's one of those, but it's not even that good. Like, I'm going to die and go to hell. I'm just going, what the hell did I do? And the devil's going to like hold up this contract that says, I will give you one like grilled cheese sandwich. I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> I was really hungry that day. <sighs> that sucks. Oh, man. But, um... I have a lot of time on my hands. I, um, I go to a lot of websites. I'm exotic like that. Who loves websites, right? Uh, <laughs> I went to the Ku Klux Klan website, not you know, because I'm a member, you know, I'm just shopping around, but um, I, you know, they had, I was just curious if they had a website. It's like, who the hell would be their webmaster? GeoCities, they're still doing it. And um, <laughs> they have like a little gift shop, you know, where they sell great big Confederate flag belt buckles and great big Confederate flag zippos, and they have great big Confederate flag ties, clip on, of course. And uh, so like you can say a lot of things about the Klan, but you cannot say that they don't know their demographic. That's a that's a thing. And um, I don't know. I saw this. They have a web series actually, uh, the Klan uh, web series, where it's just two little kids talking about how great the white race is, and I watched it, and you know, I took some notes, but you know, it's not here or there. But um, I, took, I, I was watching it, and I noticed something. They were talking in front of a green screen. You know, they had to like put something in there digitally. And what they put back there was a bookshelf filled with books. <laughs> Where in the clan are you going to find a bookshelf filled with books? It's just, shit, we don't have any books at, at all? No, but we know somebody who knows chroma key. Huh, okay, that doesn't really add up at all, does it? Oh well, that's, uh, that's never as popular as I hoped it'd be. Oh well. <laughs> it's only gonna get worse from there. I, um, I was also on Facebook. I love my websites, guys. <laughs> and um, I was on Facebook. Everyone hates Facebook. I love it. I don't understand the hatred for it. Facebook does exactly what you want it to do every time because we have the smartest people in the world working on Facebook right now. You know, we used to have them designing rockets that would take us to Mars, 
now they're just getting that picture of quinoa salad in front of all your friends. So that's a, it's like, we gotta get this picture of Bethany's brunch out now. It's like, okay, we'll do that. Bye, Mars. It's a, I don't know. I, I understand the hate for Facebook. I think it's just because your friends are on Facebook. I think that's the thing that people really don't like about it. It's like, this was just all mine. This would be great, but I have to share it with Steven. Oh, God. And because here's the thing. Steven is a great guy when you're having a beer with him. But when you give Steven like an apple box to stand on and just say, talk forever, Steven has some interesting thoughts on 9-11. That's a, uh, it's like, oh, Steven, that's not great. It's not great at all. The only thing I don't like about Facebook is the inspirational posts, those posts that people say, oh, this will raise your spirits and shit like that. I, I saw one and it said, there's this guy in Australia that lives near this cliff and over the past 50 years, he saved 160 people from jumping off this cliff. Be inspired. You know, I was like, maybe. I did some research on this one. And this is a very popular cliff to kill yourself off of in Australia. In over a period of 50 years, 4,600 people have tried killing themselves off this cliff. He's only saved 160 people. <laughs> He's doing a bad job. You realize this? That's not inspiring at all. I could do better than that. It's, but I don't know, it's gotta be terrible because like every time he leaves the house, there's just gotta be like a blood debt on his head. You know, it's just like he goes to Ikea and he comes back and they go, oh, that's a nice end table. How much did that cost? It cost one depressed father. That's how much it cost. Ah! Okay. It only gets darker. All right, my name's Matt. I'm gonna go surf some websites, I guess. I don't know, bye.